we were lucky enough to get a meeting with the project manager and we put forward what we're about, which is you know not just providing waterproofing products, but being there to support and, and assist in the design, the construction, the inspection of those installation materials. So a lot of the challenges were they had all these water features, you know, the fountains, so obviously there's a high risk of water ingress when you essentially build a swimming pool on top of the memorial. There's also a giant walkway ramp that goes down into the structure. So all the rain that occurs outside, you actually have a ramp migrating it right down into the building. And then lastly, you have this massive green space right in the center of the city, so you can have water accumulation here. So there's a huge risk of water ingress. For the visit, we would typically show up on site, come down, check in with all the parties involved. We'd go around, we'd take a look at details that we had reviewed and that I had drawn up a couple days prior that have gotten signed off by everybody, made sure that was communicated to the installer. Here's how we're changing the installation so that they installed it according to the latest drawings. And then a lot of it was just using some of the software tools that Tremco has, like our eye auditor site inspection form, so that we're providing that feedback in real time. So by the time we're walking off the job site, that project engineer has the report with the list of things that they might need to check so that they can do that before the next stage of concrete. To do things in real time was critical for them. So the torch on membrane is probably the most obvious. So if you check anybody's literature, really what they say is 28 days for concrete to dry before you put on things like torch on, because you're going to heat the substrate up really, really hot above water's boiling point. So if there's water in the concrete deck, it's gonna come up and it'll blow off the membrane. So everyone just universally says 28 days, but that's not right at all, right? Because if it's 28 days of rain, the concrete deck's still not dry. That 28 days actually comes from the International Concrete Repair Institute for structural strength of the concrete. So what you really need to do is look at moisture content in the concrete, which there are test methods for that. And what we decided to use here was a Tramex CRE4 moisture meter. So we're actually measuring the moisture content in the deck and saying, yes, it's below four and a half percent, which is the acceptable threshold. You can go ahead and torch on. So what's really nice in a project like this, if we get really nice weather, they might be able to install in 14 or 15 days as opposed to the full 28. It really helped them to kind of adjust their construction cycle time back, save a few weeks, and then also schedule the next trades that are coming into that process as well. So maybe it's the tiler or maybe it's the concrete guy pouring the next slab level so that they could, again, keep up pace of construction. A lot of these were happening in real time. So, you know, one day we sit there and say, oh, there's a wall here that is not in any of the previous drawings. How do we detail that wall or the obelisk area in the center? There was no drain on the floor in that room because it's an internal space. So then there was questions about, well, technically it's internal, so does that fall under the external waterproofing standard or the internal waterproofing standard? So we had to have a bit of a play there to make sure everything was compliant with the building code and then to make sure everything from a material-wise and installation-wise was going to be deemed acceptable for our warranties.